Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Charlene and I crochet. I'm not feeling too well so I took a few days off work and I decided to just kind of crochet and sit up <coughs> and sit on the sofa with a hot water bottle and kind of be a bit lazy. So a little backstory to what I'm making. Hexagon granny square cardigans have always been a thing but they did recently get popular this year again. And a lot of people were making them and I've never really liked them, but I couldn't understand why I didn't like them. I just knew there was something about them that I didn't like. But then my sister asked me to make her one. She sent me a TikTok. She would go, can you make that? I like it. And I said, yes. And I made her it as a birthday present. And I liked it. And I thought it looked really, really cute. So I decided to make myself my own one. And that's how I fell in love with Hexagon Granny Square Cardigans. And it definitely opened up my eyes to that kind of look. Because then the Hexagon Granny Square pullover became a thing. And I didn't even have to think about it. I knew I was going to make it. I got one side of the pullover completed. These are the colors. Um... I actually used two different weights of yarn, so I think, I can't remember, but this one, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is acrylic, but it's definitely not DK. I want to say, maybe it's DK, a, a, a DK worsted weight, it just, it's ever so slightly thicker than a DK, okay? And then I used this white yarn, and this is a sports weight, and I just love the drape, the two different um weights give when combined so yeah that's it i'm doing so finish one side and i want to get the other side finished because i i just love this i love this pattern and i really want to wear the shit out of it so we're gonna get this done today i will work today i am determined to work today it's gonna be so cozy and this blue purple yarn is so soft it's like some sort of baby brand um you are a baby brown, don't you? I can't remember. It's actually the next day and I didn't get it done yesterday. Like I said, I really wanted it to, but I actually just finished the other side. Okay, so it's day three. I said I was gonna get it done yesterday. But I didn't get it done yesterday. And here I am today. On the sofa, cozy again to let you know that I haven't finished it. I last night I was in the process of finishing it when I realized I made a mistake. And I had to frog it. And I'm really, really upset. And I'm more upset because it's my own fault. I I knew there was something different about the assembly of the pullover compared to the cardigan and I didn't I didn't memorize that part of the pattern I unfortunately now have to frog my work and do some of the work again I am so close to finishing though well I keep saying I'm so close to finishing but I'm not because I'm just so close to assembling it I still need to do the sleeves but I don't want to do the sleeves until I have the piece on and I can decide how big I want the sleeves. So, uh, I'm just so upset. I just want to wear this piece so badly. It's going to be so cozy. <laughs> yeah, I'm back on the sofa. I'm in my cozies and I'm going to put on a show and I'm just going to sit here and do as much as possible. Hello from my kitchen. I can't find my microphone. So I'm hoping the quality of sound is okay. But I finally attached it all together. The front and back is attached. And then the little foldy outy parts, which is great because 
this is the part that I forgot to do. It's not really laying down at the minute. Um, and I think that's because I attached the shoulders like very close to my neck. And in the tutorial, I think she attaches hers from here. So it's like this whole part would kind of be floppy. I'm hoping that when I block it, this becomes a bit looser to fall down a bit. And I start out one of the sleeves. So obviously not this one, this one. I still have my yarn attached to it. Um, she done 17 rows from the end of the hexagon. Um, so from here to like here, she done 17 rows. But I made my squares a little bit bigger and especially I use different weight yarn. So I think I'm gonna have to do less rows, but also I really couldn't figure out how to decrease with the granny stitch. No matter what I was doing, it just didn't make sense in my head and it still doesn't. And I don't think this is decreasing at the pace that it needs to, cause it's still like really wide and it's like supposed to end like down here. So I think I'm gonna have to unravel this and I've had to unravel so much of this project that it's actually stressing me out a little bit. It's so frustrating and I don't know why because it's like a pretty basic thing to do. I think my problem is that I'm just thinking too much about it, if that makes sense. So I don't, I just don't know where I'm going wrong. And it is, I'm like sitting there and like, oh, it is actually stressing me. But I'm heading to my granny's for dinner now. So I'm gonna take it off, go down there, relax, reset, and then we'll come back and we'll try and get this finished. I really, really want it finished. Oh, and I also added the bottom row um, here to kind of piece it together. So really all that's put left is the sleeves and then I'm weaving on all the ends and I did weave them in as I go. So all I need to do is kind of just cut them off and then weave in the ones that couldn't be weaved in as I went. On another note, is it bad that I'm not even sure I like it anymore? <laughs> like, <laughs> I feel like I've been staring at it too much and I just don't like it. <sighs> like, I feel like it looks very boyish. Which I know is stupid, but like, I feel like the fit of it is very... Uh, it's just not what I wanted it to be. I will finish it though. And the worst part about it is, when I finally attached it all together, I said to myself, oh, I should make another one of these. Oh, as if, as I'm ever gonna fucking make one of these again. Okay, so it is currently... It's currently the 19th of February and the video that you just watched was recorded in September 2023. It's obviously 2024 and I just never finished the video and I don't know why. I went back in my camera roll to see if I recorded anything and I just, I can't find anything. I just stopped it there and I really have no idea why. However, I actually think it's perfect that I'm recording this because in that video, I took time off from work because I was sick and I'm sick again. I didn't take time off work this time, but I am sick again. And I just thought it was perfect. And I'm also in my pajamas and I'm in my pajamas in that video. I don't know, I just thought it was perfect. I did finish the jumper. Well, the pullover, here it is. It is probably one of my favorite things I've made, even though I'm clearly very angry the whole time in that video, but I just love it. It looks really, really cute. I love how the blue ended up. I just think the blue is so perfect for it. Um, I'll quickly go try on so you can see it. Um, also, please excuse this horrible mess everywhere. I'm currently in the process of doing this room up so everything is everywhere at the minute but I'll be right back to show you this this is the finished piece I love it so much I think it's so cute um I will have more videos and shots of it but it has this lovely nice drape to it it just looks so cute finished and if you're thinking about making one 
definitely make one. My only issue with this is I don't like the colors that I used. I think it just kind of reminds me of pajamas. So I think I wore it out of the house once and any other time I've worn it has been inside the house as something just to keep me warm. I think next time I'll definitely use a, war uh, a warmer yarn. Um, this is acrylic so it should be warm but um, it's just not as warm as I would like it to be. And I don't know if you remember, but in the video, I mentioned that I was worried I hadn't sewn the, um, that I had sewn these together too close. And I said, I hoped washing it might help block it a bit. It hasn't really, I would prefer to sit down a little bit more relaxed, but it doesn't, it just sits up like this, but I'm not annoyed about it. I really, as I said, really like this piece. Hope you enjoyed me being very angry that I didn't finish this piece. I say in the video that I'm not gonna make another one of these, but I definitely will. I absolutely love this. I just think it's so cute. I do think it's very summery as well. Like you could definitely make like, a summer version of this and I will also say that I did weave in all the ends too so I'm pretty proud of myself for weaving in the ends usually if it's a project for me I just leave it and live with the fact that eventually my piece will slowly unravel but it's mine so who cares so yeah this is the final the final product this is the final piece the fi also I mentioned in that video that um blood was sick her eye was sore can confirm that her eye did get better just let you know in case anybody was wondering her eye is better fully healed she made a full recovery and did not have to go back to the vets which was good i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you guys in the next one